personal trainer and nutritionist and today I have a dancer warm-up for flexibility it is a stretching regimen and it's geared towards intermediate to advanced people because you do need some established flexibility prior to doing this exercise routine that being said we'll get right into it the first thing we'll be doing are some warm-up stretches for the ankles and so you're going to begin by rocking your foot side to side for 10 and then we're going to do forward and back. So with the side to side, you have to do them individually. But with the front to back, you can do them together. So, I don't know if you could tell. I'm going to assume you can. But what you do is you rock your foot side to side. So you lift it up on the side and then tilt it inwards. So now with the front to back, you rock up and then come up. You want to come onto your toes and then come up to your heels. So the front or the balm of your foot is lifted off the ground. So do that for 10. we'll be doing is stretching out the calves, the back of the legs, the lats, and behind the shoulders. This is going to be a down dog pedal, so you're going to get into a down dog, and from here you're going to alternate pedaling your feet for 20. roll down the legs and there are a couple ways you can do this. So one of them being you're going to kind of collapse your spine and roll down with your legs straight. So from the side this is going to focus mainly on the hamstrings. If you want to focus more on opening up your hips you're going to roll down and as you do so you're going to squat and then hang your upper body and then come up slowly. So we're going to do this three times. You can pick any variation or even do both. thing we'll be doing is going to open up the sides of the abdominals and the back. It's called a torso twist. So there's more than one variation and they all do the same thing. You can either stand with your arms out like propellers, you can cross your arms in front of you, you can do a fist salutation, it's up to you. And from here what you'll be doing is you're going to twist as far as you can on each side following your hands or your body's rotation with your gaze. You don't want to be looking ahead turning your body like the exorcist. You could uh, hurt your neck. So anyway, we'll be doing that for 10. Switching sides. The next thing we have is going to open up the hips. It's called a lateral hip opener. So what you'll be doing is you're going to drop down into a deep lunge. You should feel your side of your hip opening up and the inside of your thigh. From here, you're going to stay in the low part of the movement and switch sides. We're going to alternate for eight. dynamic stretch is called a windmill and we're adding a side reach to it. So you're going to come apart like a big star. From here you're going to take your hand to your opposite foot, come up, side reach, switch, side reach. So that's considered one and we're going to do five total.
The next thing we have is a series of stretches done from the runner's lunge. This is going to stretch all of the major muscles of the lower body. So you're going to get into a runner's lunge. Your back leg is relaxed behind you. Your front leg is obviously in front of you. And the front leg, you will feel a stretch on the outside of your hip, maybe in your inner thigh. In the back leg, you should feel a stretch in the front of your thigh or your hip flexor. From here, you're going to twist your body. This is going to stretch out more of the lower back, and it's also going to deepen the stretch of the hip flexor in your back leg. So we'll hold. After brief pause, you're going to twist the other way. And then when you're ready, switch legs. From here, we're going to try to do a split. So we're just going to do the forward one. brief pause, switch your lead leg. You might notice that you're more flexible on one side of your body compared to the other, and that's okay. Even if that is your case, you should still always do whatever exercise you're doing, whether it's a stretch or whether you box. You should not favor your dominant side or the side that's better. You should always equally train your weaker side and your strong side because it will help them to even out. And, you know, obviously if you train the side that is better and not the one that's worse, the one that's worse will never get better. So now from here, we have another stretch. So we're going to come up to standing. And there are two options. The first one being a back arch, and it's going to stretch the front of the abdomen, the spine, and you might feel a stretch in the front of your legs and your chest and arms. So you simply lean back as far as you can while still being able to maintain control of your body. If you are capable of going further than just a back arch, we're going to go completely into a wheel or a back bend. Now we're going to travel back to the floor for some inner thigh stretches. So first, you're going to begin with your legs wide apart, and you're going to come down to center. So you want to go as low as you can. Then after a brief pause, you're going to focus on one side. And then finally, your other side.
and that concludes our dancer warm-up or flexibility routine. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out more of my other videos on YouTube under Wellness by Elizabeth and like, subscribe, and share.